Hey guys, Handicapable Gamer back once again on this busy week of PlayStation VR games with a yet another review. This time I'm taking a look at Infinite Mini Golf. Now, when Infinite Mini Golf was first announced for the PlayStation VR, I found myself wondering how something like that would be presented in virtual reality. Well, now I have my answer, and I'm pleasantly surprised. The game successfully manages to capture the charming and sometimes outlandish design of actual mini golf courses that you might see in the real world. The ones in the game obviously wouldn't exist in reality, but they borrow from established conventions. I think the presentation in virtual reality is one of the best parts of the game for me. As of right now, we're given three main course locations. There is a home location that might make you think of a more realistic looking Toy Story type environment. There is a Santa and North Pole inspired location. And there is a Halloween themed course location. Each of these courses has holes of varying degrees of difficulty as you would expect with any golf game. With each hole you can find different types of power-ups such as magnets that will pull your ball towards the hole or a remote control that you can actually use to guide your ball to the hole and much more. The desire to test out these different power-ups and test your ability on an endless amount of courses will keep you coming back. The reason I say there's an endless amount of courses is because a very cool feature that was put into this game is the course editor and creator. You can create and share your own courses with the online community. So anytime you go into quick play, you will have access to holes that other people have actually made. For example, when I was playing earlier, I went to quick play and it said I had 739 available courses. So the game is virtually endless. And it's cross-platform between Steam, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, according to the developer. The entire game, as I said in the beginning of this review, has a very charming feel. And to go along with that, you can change the look of your avatar as you buy new clothing and accessories, or upgrade similar to what you might see in something like Hot Shots Golf or Everybody's Golf. Now visually, the game has the same type of graphical fidelity that you would expect to see from those games. And being that the game was made by Zen Studios, the studio responsible for Zen Pinball, it's no surprise that it has a nice amount of polish to it. I think this game will be no different from Zen Pinball in that people will latch onto it and there will be players who will absolutely love it. To this point in the PSVR life cycle, sometimes when we see a game that gets both a flat version and the PSVR version built into one title, the VR mode feels tacked on. But in this game, whether you're playing as a flat game or in the headset, you're getting the exact same game either way. And I have to commend the developers for that. With the game, you're getting all the single player courses or holes, as I should say, along with an eight person multiplayer mode that can really allow the PSVR community to have some fun together. Most people play VR for immersion, and in my opinion, there's different types of immersion. There's the type you get from first person games, where you feel as though you're actually the character, and then there's the type you get less often from third person games, where it's actually more about the environment and feeling as though you're actually in the world that's surrounding you. Infinite Mini Golf falls into the latter of these two categories. You can play it from a third person perspective, looking towards the course or down over it, and you can put the camera into first person mode to adjust your shot, but when you're actually playing, it's all done in third person. So again, where this game takes advantage of virtual reality is in the course environments. One thing I thought that was really awesome was when you go into the course editor, 
it's presented to you in a 2D fashion, but the world around you is still in 3D. So to clarify, the pieces that you're manipulating to build your holes are all in 2D, but the world around you still looks as though it's 3D virtual reality. So it's an interesting take on changing viewpoints. With its quality of presentation and abundance of content in terms of the courses and holes available, there's plenty of replayability to be had. Especially with all the things you can unlock, Infinite Mini Golf is definitely worth your time and money, and it could be a major hit on PlayStation VR if the community supports it. I mean, who doesn't want to have access to a never-ending mini golf course in their home? I don't have many gripes for this game, but I suppose there would be two major ones. First and foremost, the third person perspective. I feel like since VR was touted as a big aspect of the game, when a player chooses to activate VR mode, we should be allowed to play it in first person so we feel like we are the one golfing. And since we have move controllers for the system anyway, and those controllers have su successfully done golf in the past on PS3 along with archery and baseball, what's to stop the developers from including move support with this game so we could feel like we're actually swinging the clubs? The only answer I could come up with is that the game was made to be playable with the DualShock 4 and is playable completely seated so adding move support would make it more of a standing experience and maybe they didn't want to alienate the portion of gamers who prefer to play their games seated. But I feel like that assumption isn't necessarily warranted because if someone really wanted to play with the move controllers while seated they could figure out a way to do so. I guess that's neither here nor there since they didn't include the option for move controllers, but it would have been nice. It would also be a welcome addition if they chose to give us some DLC in the future with new courses similar to what they do with their pinball games, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that. All in all, I say if you think you'd have fun feeling as though you're on a mini golf course in VR, this game is definitely one you want to check out. And it's not just for people that are into golf, since mini golf itself is more arcadey by nature. I think it's something that everyone can have fun with, and I know I'll be going back to it for a long time to come. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of Infinite Mini Golf, and please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and check out my Patreon if you're interested. I will talk to you guys soon with my next Let's Play review. Thanks.